All right, on lesson 832, here's what you're going to be doing. You're going to first take this problem right here, 6x squared plus 11x. Come on over, Carl. I'll help you in a moment. Plus 11x minus 10. And you are going to solve it first using your zero property product. Basically what I mean by that is you're going to use your diamond and rectangles, uh, generic rectangle and a diamond problem to solve it. And then you're going to solve it using quadratic formula. I want you to figure out which did you like better, which was easier to do. So first you're going to do that. Pause the video as you solve it both ways. I want to see all your work on that. All right, you should have paused the video by now. <clears throat> should have your answers. I'll check those tomorrow. I'm not giving it to you now. Here's the other thing I want you to do, though. I want you to solve these, but these are special cases for your quadratic formula. On this first one, A, you're going to notice there is no x term. There is no b of x. Well, what must b be to get x to cancel? If you said b has to equal 0, you'd be correct. So even though you don't see the b term in here, there is a b term. b equals 0 for this one. So take and do this one. Solve it using the um, quadratic formula. Then we do this one. What's the problem for letter b here? If you're going to say your b is negative 2, and your c is negative 3, you're wrong. This is out of order. You're going to notice that it goes 2x squared, and we don't have your x's next. We have your x's last. Reverse these two, please, and then solve that using the quadratic formula. Letter c. What's the issue here? Well, this isn't in standard form either. You'll notice that this one equals 630. In order to be in standard form, it must equal 0, like these two did. So what do I need to do to both sides to get this side to be 0? Subtract 630. Please subtract 630 on this one, and then solve that one using the quadratic formula. And then finally on this one, hopefully you can notice now what's wrong here. That's right, it doesn't equal 0. So you're going to subtract 60x from both sides and solve that one using the quadratic formula. By the way, a quick little note to you. <clears throat> on letter C here, when you solve that, you might notice that each of these can be divided by 15. It might make it a lot easier to do the quadratic formula if you first factor out the 15 from each of these and then solve that using the quadratic formula. This one, there's a different method to go there, but I'm not going to get into that right now. This one right here, quadratic's all you got to do once you have in the right order. And this one right here would be really nice if there was something that would factor out of these, but it doesn't. So this one gets to be a pretty large and nasty number. Anyways, we will see you tomorrow in class. Make sure you pause the video and do all four of those using the quadratic formula. Today's lesson was all about more practice using the quadratic formula. Have a good day.